with round number five. Harry's an explosive sort of guy. He fights in spurts, doesn't he? Yeah, it seems to have, uh, he comes out strong, uh, fast. Seems to go back, suck up a little breath, and come back strong. I think it's a tremendous pace. Aaron, of course, said in the second round that this thing wouldn't go the distance. I don't see how they, the pace can maintain uh, uh, this momentum either and, and go much uh, beyond a couple more rounds myself. I don't know. Maybe uh, the fact that me and Boom Boom is out here in the audience today <laughs> doing this fight and we're in that division that these guys feel like they got to fight consistent to even be in our category. So it is something unusual that I've never seen, but this is the kind of fight they have to have to beat a guy like me on this season. And this is the kind of fight they have to have to be a winner today because both fighters have the same uh, attitude about winning this fight, coming to punch it. Leroy Haley was shaking a bit in round two, but since then he's kind of got his compo composure back, been tagged a few times, he's game and he's tough. And Curry, you can just see it in his eyes, he wants his title so bad. Good body was, shot. Yes. Very good. He felt that. He showed it all over his face. Now let's see what the hell he can do when he hurt a guy. Pull it up that time with a crisp right hand. He nailed him right in the button there too. Haley having uh, what I would have to say his best round so far. Then he got tagged. I don't think Ruth can hardly move it now. That shot paralyzed him so much. He's really standing flat-footed. His legs are weak a little bit. I can tell you one thing for sure. Boom Boom was fighting anybody at this point. We can all go home. <laughs> I tell you, you, you know, they're not the biggest of punchers. You have to wonder uh, if, were, if one of them was just a little bigger puncher. The shots they're hitting each other with, if like Aaron said, we wouldn't be going home by now. You know, 15 knockouts and uh, 52 fights for Haley is nothing really impressive for the knockout bracket. And, uh, well, 16 out of uh, about 40 fights for Curry uh, is also not that impressive for the knockout. But both of them look like they've got shots they're, against each other. They're good punchers. They're good punchers, but they're not what you call great punchers in the game. And they're not one-punch knockout artists like a, 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 a Lex uh, Arguello, a Darren Pryor. Well, the crowd likes it here, and they love it when you fellas can appreciate it because you work so hard yourselves in the ring. Don't you love it when the crowd reacts to the fact that you're working hard? I really love it. I really love it myself. I really love it. And, you know, sitting on the outside, you can see what people judge when they're watching a fighter. They look at his ability and his condition. And even today, watching this fight, as a professional fighter, I can see the condition or over in one corner and a little fatigue in the other. And at this point, I got to say that Haley has one big thing in his favor in winning this fight is his condition seems to be standing up stronger than Bruce to me. And as the fight goes on, we'll be able to see. Well, he has been hit with some shots, especially there in the second round. And while he was having a, a real good go there in round number five, he was tagged a couple of times again. Conditioning will show a guy that's had uh, over 50 fights, he's got that heart and he wants to keep that title. I want mine. Here we go, round number six. The WBC Super Lightweight Championship at stake. I'm Bob Sheridan, along with Ray Google Mancini and Aaron Pryor, two great champs. Glad that you can be with us sitting in for Larry Holmes and Michael Vokes tonight. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, I said. It's getting really rough in there now. Really rough. That's something I've never seen before. A fighter bend down and pick up his mouthpiece. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to do that. That's that determination to win, regardless of what it takes. I like that. That's the eye of the tiger. Oh, good shot right in the solar plexus. That type of, you fellas can describe it better than I can. When you get hit there, that hurts. Uh, it's really, really takes a, takes a toll on, like I said. 
a shot like that, boy, I tell you, it really takes a lot out of you. I think it's important to point out here, too, that uh, Haley is really slick and that he's hanging on uh, when he has to. He gets a shot off, gets in, hangs on, showing the ring wherewithal, the ring sense, something that can't be taught only experience. You know, as much as these guys are hitting one another, they're also slipping uh, a lot of punches. Good, slipping very well. It's a very good match. It's a well even match. I think Bruce deserves a shot at the title. And Helly, he's showing it all in this fight here. And she, Hell, as the champion, Helly, it is a good, well matched fight. Good to go. Davy Pearl saying, watch the head. in the corner, Jesse Reed pumping up Bruce Curry saying, keep up, keep up the rough stuff. And on the other hand, Haley's corner sounded a bit concerned to me. Well, I, I gotta respect both of the corners. I know both of the corners very well. And I gotta say, Eddie Fletcher is one of the greatest champions, uh, greatest trainers in history and training fighters. I gotta say, you know, if he was concerned, there's a reason to be concerned, but I have to wait till the fight go on a couple rounds to see what the corners do at that point. It's really been a grueling pace and a warm evening here in Las Vegas. It's well into the 70s. When we started, it was 84 degrees. Humidity low, but these fellas have been working three minutes, and I mean a full three minutes, of every round through round six. A little bit more coasting here in round seven, but trying to get a breather. Punch out, now punch out. Every time they get in fight, and they do some very good in fight, it seems like Bruce Curry gets the best of it. Seems he's getting the best of the end fighting. A difficult fight to score because of the fact that both guys fight in flurries. And one guy looks great for a while, and the other guy comes right around and looks good. What well, I think is that style that Kerry had is, 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 is really throwing uh, Leroy off a little bit because he's shooting that jab from holding his hand a little low and it's getting there every time. The voice of Aaron Pryor, he should know, 
Also with me, Ray Boom Boom Mancini. I'm Bob Sheridan. So glad that you folks are with us. Hope you're enjoying this fight as much as we're enjoying bringing it to you. Terrific action in there, Bob. Louis Trump's a good exchange. Leroy that time setting up his right hand, three jabs in a row. They like him uh, in training to double up with the left. When you get three off and drop the right, you're doing something, especially against a, a taller guy with a longer reach. I tell you, Bob, I, I just, I am concerned with Curry having his mouth open so wide. A anybody will tell you, that if you have to breathe through your mouth, it cuts down on you. It takes away from you. That little bit it takes away may make the difference in the fight. Usually that's a sign of fatigue in the late rounds, but he's been doing that for the entire fight. Yes. All right. We're through seven rounds here as we go back to the corner of Leroy Haley, the champion. Let's see if we can pick up what Eddie Punch is saying in there. I'm behind him. Slightly behind. you got to set up the pace. Did you hear what he said? Aaron, he said, I'm behind. It's unusual for a fighter to think he's behind. Well, you know, a great trainer like Eddie Punch. Uh, could see that telling the fighter at this point in round seven in the middle of the fight that he's behind because if Haley comes out and take over the next two rounds, Bruce Curry is going to have to perform a miracle to win a decision because it's only a 12-round fight. And this is what I'm saying by having a great trainer like him who tells you, see that beautiful right hand there? This is what Eddie Fudge wants Bruce to come in and get out of her and not, without getting hit. Here we go, round number 12. Uh, round number eight in this 12 round match. <coughs> round number eight. Well, the philosophy is working. Eddie, Eddie just let him believe he was behind, if in fact he is, and he, he comes out exploding in round eight. That's, that's, that's why it's good to have a, a fighter to have a good corner. Good body shots by Miss Curry. Personally, from my observation, if Haley would come in, get off his uh, uh, two or three punch combination, and get back out of the hit, don't get hit, get away, and then come back in and continue to do that, I would think that'd be more successful. Not too bad. He, he did it his own way. <laughs> I tell you, I'm really feeling them shots. Come on, cut the hole. A lot of rough and tumble fights going on there. Really pulling each other around. Once again, Davey Pearl for the third time in the fight warns both fighters about the rough stuff in the holding and hitting. I made the comment in round seven that I thought the pace slowed down a bit in seven, but in round eight, it's right back to the way it was in every other round. Well, as I predicted before, that they would fight to the point where these fighters depend on somebody going down before they lose. Davey Pearl, a veteran referee, doing an excellent job because it is a tough fight to officiate. That's cuts reopened underneath Bruce Curry's eye now. It's not a dangerous cut, it's underneath. That was opened up in the fifth round, beginning to show a little bit more here now in round eight. What I like is Bruce Curry, when he's throwing the punch, he just plants himself. He's not, he's not getting backed up. He's going to Haley back him up. Well, you know, Bruce, Bruce has the kind of blood that runs through his family that makes a fighter excited 
have to hear what kind of family comes out. Head, Bruce's brother, Donald Curry, is the welterweight champion of the world. RSVP and Don King presents the crown affair on Friday night. The WBC Heavyweight Championship, Larry Holmes versus Terrible Tim Witherspoon. Live from the Dunes Hotel here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Remember, it's on pay television and closed circuit locations only around the country and around the world. Also on the very same card for the first time in the history of boxing, a heavyweight championship fight, a dual heavyweight championship fight coming up, the WBA championship, Michael Dokes versus Michael Weaver, also from the Dunes Hotel here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Pay television and closed circuit TV only. Strike him down, Jess. Jess, strike him down, 